New at six, dozens tackling the topic of segregation in school. A 2018 study found schools in Mecklenburg County are some of the most segregated in the state. And experts say this resegregation is happening at an alarming rate. They go on to say if this continues, the education of all children could suffer. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly was at today's panel discussion. Ashley, most of this conversation focused on how we fix this. Yeah, and like with any problem, the experts today say it's important to first identify what's at the root of the problem. And during today's discussion, many of those experts pointed to the lack of affordable housing and the prevalence of charter schools. In the 1970s, Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools was a national leader when it came to integration, first integrating West Charlotte High. But today, researchers say that progress is being reversed. CMS schools are uh, probably the most highly segregated schools in the state of North Carolina right now. A report released in 2018 says CMS would need to reassign 55% of its students in order to achieve racial parity. So how did Charlotte get back to this point and how can we as a community come together to fix it? Today, a panel of experts took on that topic First, pointing to the city's lack of affordable housing, saying when neighborhoods don't have affordable housing options, the neighborhood schools are only comprised of those who can afford to live there. We have to have a real honest conversation about how we sell neighborhoods and how we use schools to sometimes double down on the redlining of the past. Justin Perry is a West Charlotte grad, now a clinical therapist and an activist for desegregation. He says as Charlotte continues to prosper, city and county officials need to work more closely with developers. He says if they don't, students all across CMS will suffer, saying after graduation, employers won't ask how your school was ranked. He says says they'll want to know more about if you can work well with others and if you can think critically. And I think it's important to recognize that great education actually requires a diverse set of perspectives and life experiences. Others on the panel also blame the prevalence of charter schools for Charlotte's resegregation. And today they urged voters to get to know the candidates who are running for a seat on Charlotte's Board of Education. Reporting in Charlotte, Asha Daly, NBC Charlotte.